When we review or report on something, we don't want there to be any guesswork. We believe the information must be accurate and it has to be reliable. For what we review, the goal is hopefully to educate our audience and at the same time an equally important goal is in turn to get educated ourselves. What we want to do is earn the trust of our audience and to do that we ensure what we report is accurate, rumor free and teaser free. The premium cigar industry is so dynamic and every day brings something new. We wanted Cigar Coop to be an extension of that experience so it has to be 365 days a year. We wanted to create a true media ecosystem and integrate Cigar Coop with the power of our Stogie Geeks programming network. Welcome back to the Stogie Geeks. This is the Stogies of the Week. I have to my right Brenda, manager of the Havana Cigar Club over in Warwick. And we have our Stogie Geeks production engineer, Mark, who's enjoying some gin. And he's going to talk to us about some of the Stogies of the Week that we have been smoking. Mark, what have you been smoking? You want me to start first? Yes, I okay. do. That's why I said Mark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> talk, All right. to, talk to me, Goose. I smoked... <laughs> oh, I know. I didn't copy down the name. Oh, that's embarrassing. Well, I smoked a Charter Oak 6x52. Okay. Uh, the origin is Dominican Republic. <clears throat> it's the Maduro. Um, this Charter Oak, I had no idea about Charter Oaks in the first place. Mm -hmm. It was something I went and actually asked Brenda about. Um, I was looking around for something different, a cigar that not everyone smokes, because I don't, I don't see it as something... When you try to sell a cigar, it's something everyone smokes, and they look mm -hmm. around like, oh, this is the one that's most sold. I want to find something that no one smoked before, or not someone smokes all the time. And this cigar was really, really good. Um, yeah, that's fine. Even though I rated, it, I rated it a fiver. Um, Out of what? I rated it a fiver. Out in, of? In the story geeks. No, 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 no. Well, it's, that's it's a three the, out of five. It's the rating. It's, it's a three, three, out three out of five. It's a three out of five. It's three out of five. They go, they go zero. Well, they go zero through five Yeah. as far as the story geeks rating system. So you yeah. rated a five out of five? No, a no, five is a three out of five. Yeah. What? Five, five is the oasis. <laughs> five is the oasis. I'm surprised oasis. you don't know this. Why do you uh, let newbie do fucking ratings? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Bleep. <laughs> all right. Bleep. All right. So, so you gave it a fiver. Right? Yes. Yep. Okay. And the uh, Maduro is not not the color I usually go for. Like a darker cigar is usually make me dizzy or make me sick. And I, I try to stay away from that because I don't, I don't eat very much. So it makes me like... I'm staring in the studio trying to do work, and my eyes are crossing. So um, I usually look for, like, the Connecticut's or, like, a lighter color of the wrapper. Uh, where my palette is different in Paul's, I love the Connecticut wrapper. Every, every once in a while, I like to try something darker. It, has a tight, <laughs> it had a tight wrapper. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> what the? <laughs> Why did I write that? Um, anyway, I knew, I knew it was ready to light and draw burn clean when... I can, you can feel a cigar and you, there's no like soft spots in the cigar. It's tight all the way through. It's going to burn well. It's going to, uh, it's going to taste great all the way through and it's going to burn all the way. And, um, and it produced a lot of smoke actually, which I like because it's a good asset to a cigar. And, um, I'm working, I'm staring at a computer. I like to see the smoke come out and it was really, really good. It was only $6 and I'd say totally buy the cigar. It's. It was really, really good. Um, I had it in the Toro. It was about a medium strength. Um, I expected it to be more full, but nope. it was great. I think it was a great cigar. It was really good. Yeah, medium body, full flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, you gave it a fiver. Would you give it a little bit higher than a fiver, Brenda? The the rating? The Chateau? Three and a half, yeah. 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 Holla. I gave yeah. it three um, and a half. Would you give it more than that? Would you give that? it a box? Out of five? No, would you give it a box? 3.5 out of five. Would like, you buy half a box? Or? At six dollars, I'd buy a whole box. No, um, box worthy. You think it's box worthy? I think it's box worthy. Um, <clears throat> for the price of that cigar, for what you're getting, um, and body and flavor in that cigar, um, you got to understand um, the gentleman that blends that. Um, actually used to blend Liga Provada and all that different stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, uh, Nick puts out a very, very well bun stick, um, all of his stuff. Um, I love that a lot of companies are coming out and doing those everyday smokes. 
Um, we got a lot of guys in this industry that smoke two, three, up to seven cigars a day. Um, a seven cigars a day, you're not buying ten, twelve, fifteen dollar sticks. Um, no. You want something in that six to seven dollar range that you can smoke a couple cigars a day. Um, so something like the Chata Oak will give you that medium to full body, full flavor stick for a great price. Um, I know at Havana, you buy a full box of that, you get 15% off the box. So okay. $6 a stick, $20, 20 sticks per box mm -hmm. with 15% off, that's an everyday smoke. You give it a box worthy. And yeah. that is a box worthy for yeah. me. Because mm -hmm. at that price point and at that blend, um, you're really making out. Tons mm -hmm. of flavor, tons of body, um, really good smoke. I enjoy a lot of stuff he blends. Um, the Al Wensway, excuse my pronunciation on that, <laughs> the Wiseman. Um, really great smoke, a little bit more pricey, a um, little bit into the fuller profile, a little bit more pepper than the trout oak. Um, but really great smoke. He also has the tabernacle, which yes, just uh, a, yes. is a fuller body. Paul's giving um, me some really, really, really nice smoke. Um, that dark, chocolatey, oily wrapper with all that flavor, a little bit of pepper, stuff like that. Um, that's the same. You know like what? I that's the thing. It's that, that I, I, I kind of, you got the guys that have blended for certain companies for years. And sometimes I do, I hate either, love it or hate it. You love when they branch off or you hate when they branch off. Because the stuff that they branch off from might suffer from that a little bit. But when they branch off, it gives you a new palette, a new variety of stuff they're putting out for you. Mm -hmm. And something like the Charter Oak or the Tabernacle fulfills all those wants and needs you want from where he used to blend to mm -hmm. now what he's got. Um so honestly, for something like Char Oak at six dollars a pop, twenty pound cut, it's good. Full it's box. Good. It's, it's a, a full box. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got some good End reviews. Some good reviews on the show. Uh, Love it. If you've smoked that and you want to email me, uh, Joe H at StogieGeeks.com, you can uh, comment on mock stuff. We'll we'll get it to him. We're trying to work on an interactive thing. Uh, yeah, that'd yeah. Be, uh, that's uh, maybe you, the production, can give us an update <laughs> on that towards the end of this. I'll let you know. You know, <laughs> I, 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 I think that's going to bring a, a really bigger dynamic to the yes, show. Yes, uh, I do. But um, I decided to uh, try. Uh, I didn't try them in order, but uh, uh, last episode of Stogie Geeks, I had the <laughs> Viaje uh, 2017 Antidote, and mm. I reviewed that, and then uh, I over this uh, week here, I had the. Uh, 2017 zombie oh. super shot. And I saw that. I actually looked at a bunch. Of, that looks really cool. And let me tell you something. I mean, it's it's three and a half by 54 ring gauge. If you follow um, Mr. Focus, he <laughs> says he's trying to put the fun back in selling cigars. He came up with this whole zombie. When did selling cigars stop being fun? Uh, well, no, I'm just <laughs> I've had fun for ten years. <laughs> I, I'm no, fun he, every day. he created a whole storyline. The whole storyline is that there's a zombie apocalypse, and then they're, they're they're regular super shots that you would use. But then mm -hmm. when the zombies come in, you need to have the the um, super shots to have that there, and then you're supposed to have the antidote. I had the antidote first because I wanted to. Uh, have the zombies have an even in playing order. field? No, no, no. Oh, the oh, antidote oh, was oh, after, oh, oh. but but I had the 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 antidote first, then I decided to go shoot some zombies if you want to do that. Oh. To give them a fair share, shot. In regards to <laughs> the actual uh, blend, let me tell you something. You want to talk about it's, like I said, in regards to the size, right? I'm lost here in my notes. In regards to the <laughs> size, right? The, um, the size is three and a half by 54. So it's, it's almost, yeah, it's pretty it, small, it's yeah. almost like a nub. First of all, it comes in a 25 box count Looks like shotgun shells. It's in a, it's That's in a thing. Cool. The marketing behind it is, is is awesome, I think. But realistically speaking, flavor pepper bomb. Like if you want a forty four minute flavor pepper bomb, <laughs> this is your stick, right? <laughs> I've I've had this stick uh, a bunch of times. I've had the regular super shots uh, there a bunch of times. I don't know. I I toggle. I do like a lot of Tatuaje, Viaje type stuff. I, yep. I do uh, there. And, and, I mean, you're, you have a Nicaraguan blend. And what makes the, the wrapper where it comes there, that you have a Criollo 98 wrapper. 
wrapped around your Nicaraguan binder and filler. So it is just wow. It is just it, it, that's it's, a punch. It's, <laughs> it, no pun intended. It's locked and loaded. It's ready to go. <laughs> Definitely try it. Uh, I've had the antidote as well. Uh, I reviewed the antidote. I guess it's supposed to be smoked in that order. I smoked it in, in the reverse order for no other reason other than, you know, uh, I just I just did it Joe that way. I can't follow directions. Yeah. <laughs> I can't follow directions. But if I had to rate this cigar, I'd give it a box worthy. Box worthy. Wow. Yeah. Like from, for, uh, yeah, box worthy. Like for the antidote? F- no, for the uh, v- z- 2017 Zombie Super Shop. For the antidote, I gave it a box split. I love zombies. You why, why haven't I? Yeah. You, you want? I'll, I'll get you some. I'll get you some. It, it, it's just a power. I'll bomb. get you some. I'll get you some. I've heard that. My what I don't life. like. I'll what I don't some. like about I'll the stick. I'll get you some. What what what, what yeah, I what I don't some. like about the stick <laughs> is um is the <clears throat> the shortness of it. Yeah, at three and a half. Yeah, that's why they do that. Anything four, that's that good, uh, right, it's they like, leave uh, you uh, wanting more. Uh, right, that right. is smart marketing right there. <laughs> that's what that is. Yep. That's smart marketing. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, you like that stick? Well, buy a whole <laughs> box because you're going to want more. You're going to want more. So there you go. Smart, smart, smart. Back All right. Mind. Since I didn't write the name again, um, I did the 9 by 47, 9 by 47 LFD. It was a Toro uh, Ecuadorian wrapper. Ecuadorian Ligero Sumatra wrapper, Dominican Republic, or I rated it a box worthy. This, what is it? Which one? Uh, Riley, do you have production it on guys? His, do you on his notes? Do you have it on his notes? If it's the uh, uh, nine by forty-seven, LFD for the the A the A. It's the double double Ligero, yeah. Yep. Which one? The it's the A. Yeah, yeah. The A, dude. The, the, yeah. Okay. I named. It, I, I rated it a box worthy. I love the. I love LFD. Period. Wait a minute. I, time out. Time out. Riley, can the guest hear you or no? No. Okay. So can you repeat what what he said so that doesn't say it again, listen. Riley? LFD, double Ligero, A Oscuro. That's why I said the A. Natural Correct- collector's edition. Yeah, Perfect. Perfect. All right. There you go. Now, now we. Have, there we go. We now we have the <laughs> stick, right? Because the listeners, <laughs> if they can't hear, I was rushed. I was rushed. That's I didn't okay. put the yeah, name in. Right. I know you're having a little technical problem. Yeah, I see that. Just probably lay off the gin. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Right. <laughs> we'll see the the bottle's gone. So, <laughs> um, I, if LFD was the first cigar I ever had. Ball, Paul gave me a box uh, box press LFD cigar. Um, I've liked them ever since. Uh, it was a full cigar. As Joe likes to coin the phrase, I love cigars that make me dizzy. You do and more than <laughs> more than halfway through this cigar, I was already dizzy. Sure you were. Um, yeah, yeah. Solero. It's fifteen. I, I love that I can smoke these cigars and be like. Great smoke, and the guy next to me is like, "I'm dizzy." <laughs> Holla. The first, the first third was very strong, mm-hmm. and then the last two thirds were smoother with a pepper taste, which I regret saying. And uh, it was left a spiciness on my tongue. Um, it was a great cigar, and I, Joe, if you've not tried this, I recommend this for you. Okay. You should really try this. It was really, really peppery. It was nice. Have them in stock at Havana Cigar. <laughs> oh, we're having auditions in here? Oh, then we'll no, we're having an audition. Your turn, Joe. You got to sing. Yeah. We'll put that, put that yeah. on my next list, but not today. I've, I'm, I'm not going. today. Yeah. yeah going. You don't have like three hours to smoke a seven inch cigar? No. 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 Right. no. I work uh, here, so uh, I get to smoke all today. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes seven. Now seven. we're talking. <laughs> yeah. All right. I had the uh, MLB Cigar Ventures the Imperia Robusto. Yeah. I I revisited Imperia. this. The the I I revisited Love this Mike blend. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, I usually always tend to gravitate towards the um, Toro sizes on a bunch of on, on a bunch. You of should always try Robusto. They blend for robust uh, size. I know, I, I know, and 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 that's one of the things I've learned <laughs> here on the Story Ooh. Geek Show. So what I did was I revisited the uh, Mike Bellady's Imperia Robusto five by fifty two. Um, I mean, it. I'll tell you, smoking this at, in the Robusto size really does the cigar total justice. Yeah. There. When did you smoke that? Uh, actually, smoked that. At twelve oh three today. Today? Wow. Did you get it from my humor? Uh no, I did not. You weren't open. I did you weren't you were, open. You, you have your new hours and I had to New you know, hours, uh, new hours, new hours. I have to change hours. my Mondays now, which is you know, <laughs> you, know, you know he is a member, he can get in uh twenty hours a day, but But I don't so. have the key to the kingdom, so it's no good. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> but do you call the queen for the kingdom and she lets you in. <laughs> you know, I, um, there you go. You know, I did I didn't wanna ransack uh 
Paul's cigar all Paul's humidor <laughs> all day, right? <laughs> just for the show. You just know. for the show. Right. Just for the show. For, for business. Show. For, for uh, business purposes. For, for, for business purposes, right? So How'd you of, like it? It's a write off. I actually, let me tell you something. If, if you, you know, when this cigar came out, obviously Mike, super great guy. I love him. Great sticks. He's, he's, yeah, Mike's You awesome. know, David Pierlick is a little bit more in my wheelhouse in regards to cigars. His first debut from. Um, from MLB was the Imperia, so yep. it's kind. Of, you know, I kind of did a retake with this cigar. Absolutely, positively yep. love this cigar. Yeah, actually, uh, it's box worthy. Yeah, you know, and I'm not getting light on my ratings. No, um, it's because don't worry, I got some that that I'm gonna <laughs> nuke. And, you know, <laughs> later on in the segment, yeah. you know, but it, you know, it it it's it's box worthy. You know, and yeah. especially the robusto size. What I like about it is the wrapper tends to run a little oily, yeah. so it doesn't burn. Time wise, as yep. a Robusto actually burns, uh, you, you know, you know what I mean? Like, you know, was, real quick, yep. uh, where did you actually get this guy to smoke I, out of his humidor? No, 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 I got it at Churchill, smoke shop from lounge. <sighs> <laughs> right. How long they have that box in there? That, that's a good point, too, because it, it did it probably aged. Yeah, you know. um, the only thing with that cigar mm-hmm. that I know is, is first thing, if it comes right in, give it a little time in whatever humidor or whatever cigar shop you go into. Give that one a little time. Um, the only thing is, like I said, something like that. I love Mike Bellady. I love his smokes. Mm-hmm. Um, when those cigars came in, I had gotten in four different sizes. I grabbed three out of the four sizes and smoked it. Mm-hmm. Um, first thing, before they sell in, you will get a light ammonia taste. Mm-hmm. And it kind of put me off at first. So I waited, waited about two, three weeks, went back, revisited that cigar. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Um, that's a, that's what I try to tell people is that give things a chance. Um, let them get acclimated to the humidor you're buying them from and then go from there. Right. Because if literally they come in that day, they get put on the shelf, it's not what they're intending you to smoke. Mm-hmm. So I really would like if consumers would understand that, give it time, give it time. Sometimes that little bit of time makes a huge difference. Right. Like, like I said, came in first day, smoked it, and I was like, ooh, a little bit of that money taste. I smoked in the Robusto, the Pita, which is their Corona size. Um, and then I went back a year later mm-hmm. and re smoked it. Mm-hmm. Loved it the second time. Yeah. Yeah. That makes all the world of a difference. Mm-hmm. Um, and cigar enthusiasts, you know, they usually know that, but the average smoker doesn't. So I don't ever want somebody to come into my humidor and smoke something that I put out the day it came in and go, well, it was this or that. Right. I don't want them to be displeased or put off by a brand, especially by someone like Mike Belly, who is a really good guy, really good in the industry. He knows his blends. He knows everything. Um, give things a chance to settle in. Because um, once they do, you'll be really surprised from the difference between the day it comes in and a week later. Right, right. So, right. definitely. Because he's got the Imperia, the Islero, mm-hmm. and he actually just came out with another one besides the David Early. Aventador um, and then the David Pierre. Like, Aventador yep, is going to wait a little bit. Yep, think, so. um, which we have. We have all three in our humidor, and I just got in. Um, his new cigar to try, which I literally haven't had a chance to smoke. Mm-hmm. It's been sitting in my locker. My human, you know, we have my locker members have humidified lockers. I have a locker in my shop. I throw it in there. It's been in there about a week. I say it's ready to smoke. So once I get a chance to smoke that, no, it does. You won't about. be disappointed. It's a good. Season. I, you know, I'm never really disappointed with Mike Bellady. Yeah, really mm-hmm. good guy. Yeah, he's passionate about that stuff. Too. He is. He he is very. He he blends for the consumer, which yep. I like. Yep. He doesn't just blend for what he likes. He blends what everyone likes. Yep. Which is really nice. Mark. Uh, Riley, this is definitely the Opus X cigar. The 5, <gasps> five eighth or 43. Oh, as soon as you begin a sentence with that. With Opus it's, X. Yeah. It's yeah. like, here we go. Here we here go. Here we go. Uh, what, Riley? Can you change a seat? <laughs> The Perfection, the one I talked about earlier, Joe, ready for this? Mm-hmm. We were talking about pairing cigars earlier. This I rated this box worthy. It's the Petite Corona, yep. uh, Nicaraguan wet wrapper, the Dominican or, the origin. This is definitely a special occasion cigar. This cigar was on point from the start. Oh, yeah. uh, I smoked, mm-hmm. I drank, so pairing again, the uh, Napog's Castle 12-year-old Scotch went amazing with this. 
Uh, Paul bought this. He he brought this in the studio. Um, I also noticed for like I look at the bottom. I know Paul smells the bottom just to make the foot to make sure that it smells nice and he wants to get right into it. And it had two color two color fillers, which. One was black and one was a lighter brown. I don't. I didn't write down what the two were, uh, what the two fillers were. But um, it, it had everything a great cigar should have. Uh, peppery seems to be the overwhelming taste, but it didn't seem full to me. It it was a full cigar. It's not overwhelming. No, it was not. It was not overwhelming. And um, at this at this point too, office. at this point too, uh, it's only in your speculation. But in my opinion, this cigar was awesome. It's definitely box worthy. Yep. Um, would you fight Chuck Norris for it? I don't know. I don't know if I'd do that, but I would fight Chuck What's Norris for any Opus at that point. Uh, it's got to it's got to be 19. 19. 19. It was it was like $20. Yeah. yeah. So 19, it's a, so almost it's, $20. it's a special yeah, exactly. occasion. It's not an everyday. No. Hey, I would do um, <laughs> still <laughs> still occasion. that's why I rated a I box for special occasion. I say it, the moment someone has it in the humidor, a special occasion is buy it while you can get it. Yes. Um that's definitely. a special occasion. They got them in. Get them. Um, that's <laughs> no, no, the way no, it's, it's, works, literally. It's, 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 you You'll get in in September, and they're gone. Yeah. By yeah they, you, I remember coming in and asking you about them, because I smoked one here with Paul. Yep. And you told me they're already gone. Gone. So I'd say it's box-worthy, but save it for a special occasion with yep. somebody that you're going to do something nice with, or you're out with everybody else, and you pull out this Opus X, and everyone's like, whoa. You're smoking yep. like a $15, $20 cigar. And it's phenomenal, and you you'll have no problem smoking in front of someone who's never smoked before. And like, why would you smoke a cigar if it's gonna burn canoe on you, or it's gonna it's not gonna light fully right from the start? But it tastes great from the beginning. It looks nice. Everyone else is gonna watch you and say, "Wow, that cigar is like." Uh, maybe you'd get someone else into smoking yeah. Opus X cigars, and you can share that with them because you bought a box. Yeah. So. I'd say that's box worthy. You gotta have some pretty nice friends to share a box of opus. Yeah, I wouldn't share. I wouldn't share opus with anybody. You would. I'm a share. Are you? I can't. I got one in my locker that I'm saving for a special occasion. I won't share. There you go. Special occasion. You know. (laughs) Special occasion. You know, everyone says, "Well, Patron special occasion." Mm. I'm like. Patron, what? I had you get a discount. Patron is every day for you. <laughs> <laughs> Patron is every day. I had. What are you talking about? Special what are you attention? talking about? <laughs> Interesting smoke I came across. The uh, Alandino by Julio Aurora. Mm-hmm. That's, you know, in this, in, in this industry, it's amazing how the people in who work in the industry, well, it's Christian's brother. I oh, must try it. Yeah, there right? you go, yeah. It's like it's like you know, it's, <laughs> you know, it, 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 you know, you don't even have to say the name. It's like, well, it's his brother, so you know, you, you gotta try know, it. Yeah. You, you gotta you gotta try it. And uh, let me tell you something. First of all, uh, wrapper and binder, filler, undisclosed. I don't know. It's ranked as mild. That's what they said, undisclosed. Uh, they, I know, love that they, secret. They got, you know, it's, it's, you got to be part of the secret club. It's secret. You got to be, you know, I got to be part of the, the groovy cool yeah. squad to know, to, to, <laughs> to know it's there. And, and, you know, it's newer. So when you're looking at it on okay. the internet and trying to do that there, maybe we can get an interview coming up. I know Paul has, That'd be cool, yeah. you know, and, and stuff like that. Definitely would, would sure. love to hear uh, Julio's take uh, on the cigar, we've had Julio yeah. on the show. Yeah, yeah, you know, and and and, and, and what, what's going on? I had two different sizes. I had the Rothschild, which is four and a half by forty-eight, and then I also had mm. the um, Lancero, the six by forty-three size. Uh, I love Lancero. It, oh yeah, I, I'm. I love a Lancero. I, yeah, absolutely. What's crazy about this blend? Is hold on one two three four. What's crazy five, is that six, Joe got seven, to smoke it before I did. Eight. It's <laughs> avail- crazy about that. It's available. That's what's cra- you know, that's crazy. I'm a little, I'm a little clout in here. Little, little, little <laughs> Joe's got off, some. Joe's got lie. some power. Okay. Joe, Joe has no nobody power knows. Over me. Joe. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm. P power. I don't. <laughs> I'm like you know. I'm a cigar gypsy. Damn. You know yeah, mean? all right. Yeah, six, that's what I'd say. Yeah, gypsies, tramps, and thieves over here. <laughs> <laughs> What's crazy about this Joe blend, gets what he wants. See, see, with me, you got a lot of commotion on this, right? Because, <laughs> you know, uh, Christian, as we know, CLE produces a lot of stuff. Yeah. Leave that conversation there, right? <laughs> His brother... Hold on. I, I just had the number. One, two, three, four, five, six. This cigar is available in eight different sizes. Holy smokes. Eight different sizes. It gets distributed in a in a box, right? So I, I can't even box worthy it 
No, 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 Brenda. Brenda, box. Brenda, if you were to carry this box, you would carry oh. this box like this. Oh, it, they're like a, the Rockies, it's like, like the Habanos, yeah, where they like, come a hundred you know, in a it's, box. It's like this monstrosity. Like, oh my Who do I God. buy all these Habanos and Sumatras? It's like this monstrosity. Like hundred count boxes. I mean, you know, Jesus. raise the flag. Christian's brother put this up. <laughs> it's got this huge box. It's all, it's all in the mix. Discombobulated. Do you know what the blend is on that? It's eight. It's undisclosed. That's how it's we undisclosed. He said that. Boom. Boom. Okay, but for those. Of you, for those of you Story Geeks listeners, if you, I fi- apologize for if that. you find the blend, right, please email it to joeh at stogiegeeks.com because I did my show prep. I can't find anything on this. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty internet savvy, but you know, uh, if, if you have the blend or you know Christian's brother's aunt's uncle who knows the br- blend or anything like that, email me at joeh at stogiegeeks.com. I'd love to hear from you uh, in regards to the blend, but it's available in eight different sizes. Is he doing it through the COE company? You can't Jesus. even uh, uh, JRE now. JRE. It's a whole another gig. You know what I mean? It's a whole it's a whole pivot gig, which is another business conversation for another. Uh, yeah, they oh, are they are a sponsor. Day, so uh, yeah, you know. Um, so 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 okay, hey, Joe. Wait, big question. Big <laughs> question. All right. How can you rate it? Can't rate it a box split because you got to buy all eight blends for yep. the box. So so that's off the table. How much is the box? Right, I, I didn't even do the math. I'm, 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 I'm over it. I'm over it. If if I gotta dig and search and hunt and tread, like you know what that's I mean? That's true. You know, that's the, very true, the, actually. Like the, it should be. Hey, Joe Hosempa is doing a review on Story Geeks. Let me email him and give him the blend. Right? Nope. Anyway. Nope. <laughs> uh, but you can Someday. email Brenda at <laughs> humanorhavana-cigar-club.com. Dash dash and dash. And Brenda. Dash dash, dash your Brenda. Face. Brenda. And, Brenda. Uh, you can send her <laughs> samples. <laughs> and Brenda, who never had the blend, and yours truly had it before her. Just oh, check oh, right? Hayden. There you Throw go. Hayden. There, right? Bull. There, right? In Bull. regards he to... He don't sell the cigars. I do. Even though I had two different Just sizes, saying. okay, I did give it a fiver, which means that Ooh. you would buy five. And the reason being is because I actually bought five. So I actually... Okay. Because the, pri- the price point is... is it's on par. It's what? got it's got some of the smaller ones that are in that six seven dollar range, and then it's got some of the the, the bigger ones which are in that eight nine dollar range. And you're like, okay, I don't know if it's eight nine dollars because it's Christian's brother or blah blah blah. I don't know about that, but it is a good stick. You definitely should try one. I ranked it a fiver. Check it out. Um, I love how Joe. Everything to him is like fiver. Fiver. So, yeah. No, Joe's Fiver. very, very specific about his cigars. I'm specific yeah. about very picky. Uh, a picky. Picky. Yes. Snooty. Mm, I wouldn't maybe, say snooty. Maybe, no, I like uh, because it, I like what I like. I like, I like what, what I, like. I like. Yeah, that's what he I says. Like what I like. I want to. Okay. I hey. want to enjoy. I want to. <laughs> when I smoke a cigar, I want. I want to feel <laughs> that blend of what they're trying to accomplish. He Same wants way. to feel after he's done smoking it. It comes up and rubs him on the fucking shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Good. You know, whatever. Hey, we're the consumer. You're supposed to yeah, get us. You're with, supposed without, to make me feel good. <laughs> Without us consumers, <laughs> without us consumers, true. they don't have blends to to to, 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 to captivate our attention. Yeah, it's, it's that true. simple. It's true. You know what I mean? And and you know, uh, the long long what of the days. What would you compare that cigar to? Long in, of in, the in, in taste. Uh, Nothing. Uh, that that uh, that cigar is that cigar is so uh, unique. That's a guy, that's a, uh, no, in f- taste. I've I've had that cigar. Before. That's a good question. Give me give me a couple seconds to think about that. Yeah. Okay. I can okay. I can I can Come go back right. to that. That's a, that's All right. Task, I w- right. I would like no. This is the this is the I would, I would acid okay. upsetter cigar. And they did that come in acid upsetter? Yes, it's the it's the whole box. They did come in it would be H O Mono. Yeah. Yes. They did they did come in studio. It's a four point four and a half by forty. Uh, it was a medium strength. I'd say it's way closer to mild, if not Lower than that, that's not even possible. It's mild. Yeah. Um, I wrote it at the angler. I'm probably going to get shit for this, but. Was no, I, got, I, I honestly well, don't what care. What is the angler? I, I, no. I, I, I haven't angle. been out here enough to know uh, what no. the hell you ready? Angler. You ready? It, 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 no, angler's like two. No, no, no. Two out of five? No, 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 no. The, the, the listener's the like. It's time a, out. I'm the host. Right, right, you're the host. The I'm sorry. The listeners want a visual. You ready? An angler? Us three are on a boat. We lit it. Throw it out. In the water. Like There's jump off. Like, it's close Done. to lawn mulch. Uh, but that's Nick's version of the uh, acid lime, right? The upset is? Yeah. 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 All right. It I was, it was musty. Django. I want to try Django just because I love it was, that movie. It was I'm must- like, Django. It had like a musty, like tobacco, sweet pepper taste. Yet, it's not my cup of tea. The, it it smelled. 
I can't read this. Just give it. No, <laughs> it, just give it. It is it, what it, it is. Smells, it's your it's, opinion. It smells like a woman with too much perfume on. And she was a great night before, but it leaves a nasty taste in your pillow after. Oh, wow. Like, like it's that's a little it, articulate. Been there, done that. That's no, <laughs> it, no. To be honest, it, it smells great. It's it says online in the aficionado that it's not flavored. It just it has too much, too much scent to it. It's it all it almost smells like a perf, like a perfume, perfume. and. It, it, it was an easy smoke. It, it it burnt well. It was a nice did built cigar. Did it have cigar. sweetness to it? Yes, it did. Very, okay. very sweet. But it was just what, something. What, what actually? Before you just trash that line completely. Um, no, I, I don't like. You, what would you say the uh, like flavor it, you actually grabbed from that cigar when you smoked it? If anything, it tastes like it smelled. It like? ta- it tastes it tastes very musky. Uh, Yes, it, yeah, like like incense. It's exactly, right. exactly. It's in a few cigars. It's supposed to. Exactly. exactly. It's supposed to. So, but it, no, it just. I I watched Paul smoke it, and that's his own opinion. But the way he smoked it is the way I felt about it. It just. I smoked two of them. I smoked three of them, and I wanted. I wanted to like I have it. Have one in my locker. I wanted. So I wanted to like it, to yeah. be honest, because yeah. I liked. I liked the the Java Mint, the Drew Estate. I love the flavored cigars, the infused wrappers. And it just it just wasn't the the taste I was looking for. Maybe maybe it's for somebody else. Maybe it can be great for you if you're viewing out there. You wanna you wanna try it. Go right ahead. Um, it just it wasn't it wasn't that tobaccoy taste I was looking for. But it, it had wasn't. But it's not. A musky, no, it had it's a not. Musky taste. It, it, <sighs> the way I describe it is different. Yes, it was. It so had if a you're musky a woman taste. And you like licking a musky neck. <laughs> then smoke the cigar. Yes. <laughs> yes. Punched it right in the head. There you I go. I have an answer to your question, Brenda. There you go. Go ahead. I have an answer to your question. Serious. I don't even remember the question. The but. question was what would I compare that 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 cigar to? Yep. Uh, anything coming up uh, immediately off the bat. Um, I know some listeners are going to be like, wow, this is like crazy. R- Romeo and Julietta Cedro. Really? Just kind of like, it was, it was good. It was good. Hey, wait, I, have you had this cigar, little, Joe? I'm talking about the one that we I just reviewed. Oh, you're talking about the one you yeah, smoked. The, the, okay, yeah, okay. Like a cedar. It's got a cedar. It's got a cedar. I like it's cedar. Balanced. You know? yeah, I like cedar, it's balanced. Yeah, it's balanced. It's just it's just mild. It's 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 all right. You know what I mean? It's, it's a cigar. Right. I just don't want you know the presentation. It comes in a huge box. It's it it, it's, it just it's yeah. I, 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 I can't yeah. get the if blend. You do I can't get you know what I mean? to like, a short like, run. like I can't get the blend. You're a new cigar. Like. Throw the blend out there for us consumers. Like we began the the, the first segment of the show, you know, give us the blend, give us there, and and, and it's just it's just you know, uh, I'm over you, it. Would you rather you know would you mean? rather not have such a such a big presentation and sold it in singles? No, uh, 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 maybe they're doing well, a test blend. Maybe they're doing, doing a test blend. Maybe they're but doing it. Maybe it's there. It's 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 just a. Uh, it, would it you, would. It didn't need rest Wait, because it's a mild question, cigar. Question yeah, no. for Joe. Yeah. Question for Joe. Question yeah. okay. for Joe. Okay. Um, if that was something that someone brought into the humidor, whether it was a 20, 25, 50, 100 count cigar, would that be something you would grab a second time? Mm. For a second stick, yes. Yes. Like, you know, you never have a two-stick day. You go to the humidor. Yeah. You know, sometimes I visit you and I have a two-stick right, day. Yeah. Right. For a second stick, absolutely. For a first stick, absolutely not. No. Yep. Oh, they, yeah, that's, there you go. You know, there you go. That's okay. the way you check it. So, Joe, what do you have next? I have... <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> do it up. That's why we're drinking, right? Do it. <laughs> Speaking of anglers... <laughs> okay, all right, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Right, Speaking of anglers... I love I, that Joe's everything is like, okay, that cigar was okay. Here yeah. we go. Speaking of anglers, <laughs> uh, I had the Cala Grand Reserva Robusto Maduro 5x50. Mm. Uh, I... Honestly, um, I've had that actually. I, I, I love you bringing it up. I, I, <laughs> this, <laughs> you were working. You were working here, yourself. and I don't want disclosure as to when you were working and what I said. I remember, what? I said, what? I just what? can't get through this. I, I need. Remember, I, I said, I, which cigar was it? It was. Uh, uh, it was. It was the uh, Kayla uh, Grand Reserva Rebu- Maduro Robusto. In regards to the uh, strength, it's supposedly medium to full. I say it was barely medium. Did I give you that cigar? No, 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 no. This was the cigar that was gifted to me, and, oh, okay, and I was yeah. just like, I can't get through it. And I'm you like, like, I gave you that cigar. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like saying, no, it's not that as good. Far, I'm like, my, as far mm. as far as as far as the cigar here, we <laughs> right. have it's a five by fifty wrapper is Dominican Habano, binder is Dominican, fill is Dominican. 
I don't know if it's just too much Dominican. I was going to say, yeah. Well, see, that, and, uh, and, uh, well, what it was. It just, I'll stop you real quick. Yep. Real quick. Um, if you're used to smoking either something that's like a Nick Rome Puro or blended with, you can do an Ecuadorian wrapper, Nicaraguan Dominican filler, and splice it up. But if it's an all Dominican, almost a puro yep. of it, if that's just not your wheelhouse, it's not your wheelhouse. Right. But for someone who is looking for that Dominican, almost either whether it's a puro or not, um, might be more palatable to someone looking for that Good body. Point. Good point. You know what that's I mean? True. It, like I said, uh, you know, we sit here and we talk about the diversity of cigars and what we think about it, but we never really consider what the consumer is looking for. And that is a big thing in this industry is that not everybody wants what you want. Like mm -hmm. I well, said, what I said before is yeah. what I might love, you might hate. Yep. What I might hate, you might love. Yep. That's the difference. That's a good point. And that's, so, you yeah. have brought balance to the oh, fore. It's true. It, it's exactly the same thing. Like balance. what we review is our palates. It's your palates, and yeah. if you guys want to try something different or you want to try that cigar to paste uh, like said, under description, just because our palate says we don't like it doesn't mean you yeah. won't. But that's the thing. If, if this is a rating and you're basing everything off ratings, um, go with your gut. If you know what you like to smoke, try it. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone count you out on anything. Exactly. I hate when exactly. people base ratings on their choices of cigars. If you think that is something that you could smoke, try it. Give it a shot. You know what I mean? That is your best option. Find what you like to smoke, not what everyone else likes to yeah. smoke. Find what you like. It's true. And that's the difference. That's it's, why we do a Havana. It's fine. We find the best cigar for what you want to smoke. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. I'm not going to say, don't smoke this, don't smoke that. If you're curious about it, I'll let you try it. Go ahead, grab it. That's your decision. You make the rules. I don't. I just am there to guide you in the best direction. That's the point of Joe, uh, Joe Hozempa, Joe D, and Paul. They've been on the show for a long, long time. And the people that are watching understand their palate and yeah. say say they like stuff that Joe likes and Joe says he doesn't like that cigar, then that person watching won't try that cigar because they know that they this If your palate is yeah. like Joe's, yeah. then yeah, probably yes, then you won't follow like it. it. Right. But if you have more of a variety yeah. and like someone like me, it depends what time of day I'm smoking. True. That's true. Uh, That's in very the morning, true. I will go mild to medium. That seems, Middle that of the day, like I'll the do medium meal full. Now. After dinner, I want a full buy cigar. Or even after dinner, I go for a dessert cigar. I will switch it up after dinner, a full dinner. If I'm having steak and potatoes because I'm Irish and all I mm -hmm. eat is steak and, and potatoes. And potatoes. You pick your own um, potatoes. I, I might want to <laughs> have a black cup of coffee to wake me up after so many drinks. And a sweet cigar to pair with it. So I'll go back I'll to go my back to the pan, mild yeah. sweet. So it's, it's, like I said, it's very determined it's on you, the person yourself, yeah. who's smoking and what time of day and what you are smoking with. True. So it's make those decisions on your own. Mm -hmm. Like, we are here to give you reference to those suggestions. But always ask your cigar tender, ask your bartender, ask the humidor Serious, tender. Yeah. What you're looking for at that time. Not yeah. specifically of what you smoke every day, but if you come from a big dinner and you don't want that full buyer cigar, you want something lighter, let us know. We're going to put you in yeah. what you want to smoke. That's right. the difference of people knowing what they're selling and what they don't. Right. So that's why it's always good to try to find a shop that has people willing to help you find the best cigar you can smoke. Mm -hmm. Because we want you at the end of the day to enjoy what you had and leave happy. Yeah, and leave, yeah. And leave happy. Leave satisfied. How many, how many more do you have left, Joe? I have one. Okay, I have one yeah. more, too. Go for it. So, uh, Riley, if you want to help me out with this, it's the Petite Corona, the 4.5 by 44. Yes, I smoked this morning. The wait quick, a minute, wait the a quick draw. Just wait a minute, stop, stop for a second. Southern draw, Southern quick draw, draw, quick draw. Petit Corona Pro Habano. Oh, yep. it's in my lock. I haven't smoked. I yet. literally. I, I, <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. It's a good smoke. It is. It is, yeah. it is a good smoke. smoke. Um, but I only put it as a try one. Okay. Um, it's a Nicaraguan wrapper, Ecuadorian dark Habano. Yep. Um, 
I definitely get an espresso and woody taste from this cigar. Yeah. Um, I don't, this isn't really my profile of cigars. Um, I smoked it because I want to try everything. I'm not, I will never, I will never smoke a cigar and say, I won't like this. I'm not going to try it and just let it sit on the shelf. Like if I have a, if I have a humidor on my own and I have cigars in it, I'm going to smoke it whether I like it or not all the way through because it, it, it helps me define my own palate. You can't go helps by. Me understand. Honestly, by the f- first third of the cigar, you can't go by. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You got to smoke it all um, the way that's through. That's the difference. It's something compared to something like that. Something like La Polina, like the Miss Sam. First time I ever smoked that cigar. First time I lit it, I was like, ooh, Peppa. Mm-hmm. Killed you on that first. Two thirds away of that cigar. I'm like, oh my god, what a great, yeah. great smoke. I'm glad I hung in there. But like, I wish <laughs> people would hang in. Yeah. And let things settle in and try it. And because, like I said, that first, especially anything that has a twisted foot, where you're gonna get the I flavor. I love the close of, foots. I, I love, love close foots because you get the flavor of the wrapper right. right from the start. But, like I said, you don't know until you're about two-thirds into a cigar. It's, you know what it's, it's actually exactly what I was like. going. Because, like I said, you can get into a cigar and be like, mm, and then two-thirds no, through, yeah. you're like, oh, my God, I love wow. this cigar. But yeah, it's worth that try-through. Yeah. So, always try to get at least a halfway through a cigar before you say you hate it. Give it a shot. Like, that's the thing. It's that... It's like hard to, to blend, <laughs> but that's the thing. It's hard to blend, and Joe is so picky. Picky, picky. When picky. Jody gives Joe and a cigar, he does. <laughs> and that's the thing. It's let them, let them settle in, get mm-hmm. into what their actual blend is about. Yeah, you know what I mean. So Give it, them a it, shot. It's the same. It's the same. Oh, I was saying it. I like the quick draw cigars. Period. Yep. I've had the I've had the quick draw Connecticut. I've had the kudzu, and I'd say the kudzu's are box brass. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm bringing um, that in. I I would box worthy the kudzus. Um, bring that in. I've had the petite Corona Pennsylvanias, and this this just this Habano. I just I don't know. It just wasn't in my flavor type, but Good. it doesn't mean they have other stuff in their line. Yeah. Um, we talked about the Rosa Sharon, which they have, mm. which I have to try. Oh, the um, Thorn Lancero. I love their signature closed foot, yep. which they have in the quick draws. As you said, you can taste the the wrapper, the wrapper, the wrapper, before, wrapper right from the start, and I really like that because sometimes you notice the wrapper comes completely off. But um, I still the Rosa Sharon, which we talked about earlier, I have to try that. Yeah, it's good. That's smoke. the last one of the yeah the line I haven't tried yet. So and, and the uh, there's another one in that I haven't tried. The Hawthorne. Uh, yes. Uh, Paul has the ho- maybe I have tried the the I one the if you want no. <laughs> I've already smoked it. Uh, great, I might go great, to great Havana answer. and raise the pirate flag in that locker. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, you know, Joe's not getting into my locker, man. There's way too much expense. <laughs> Joe, for Joe, Joe to can't raid the booty in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, you get past the booty, they raise the booty. So oh my God. I went, I went old school on this next Jesus. one. I went, I went old school on this next one. <laughs> moving on, all right, all right. Moving, moving on, on from the booty. Next, Go right ahead. Show us what booty you found. Um, booty. Arturo Fuente, like Don Carlos <laughs> Bellicoso. The Don. What do you think? <laughs> She's taking a drink after oh. you said that. <laughs> yeah. Fuente, Don Carlos Bellicoso. What do you think about that? It's five by three eight. Uh, absolutely. By fifty. Do you have a Do you have a picture of it? Um. Yeah, but they came out in a new in, right. in a new band too. <laughs> um, a new band. Okay. So if you go, yeah, no, they if they it, rebanded the they re-banded. two threes and yep. a couple of. They rebanded it to. And I I love that everyone comes in. They're like, "Is this a different stick?" No, no. It's I'm the like, same. no, it's the same it's stick. The same it's the same stick. stick. It's actually, a new band. New band. New band. I did a little okay. bit of um, research. They actually just did the band, band. just to honor uh, oh, no. f- the Fuente the, Senior. Fuente after he passed away. Oh. After he passed oh, away. Because it's got a black. It's got a black band on it. It's yeah. Um. They literally um. If you want, they they redid the band. They just redid the colors. The, the, the band. The, the band. band. So oh, the entire they, band. Yeah. So, they so you, you have a before and after. From like a red and, uh, a red okay. and gold to a red, bl- red black. Okay, yeah. so okay. You a, so you have a before um, and after. After the Fuente, yeah. So yeah, like, yeah. Even like <laughs> that works. Yeah. Even like <laughs> the Gian Colos number three, everything, like they've all been rebanded. Yeah. They, and I have guys that come in they still will grab a Don Colos number three and they're like, oh, you oh, know, is this the same cigar? You know, it doesn't look the same. It's like same cigar, different band. Yeah. Um. The difference is, is that, you know, in the industry, you're going to lose the guys that have started these companies and worked their butts off to make these cigars what they are. And like I said, it's over time, you're going to lose people in the industry. 
and well, that happens a it lot, doesn't, doesn't it? It, it yeah. does. And like I said, you are look at different companies like Fuente, La Aurora, places like that. They have blend, been blending for so many years. You know, I have La Aurora, yeah, my humidor is their number um, 110 year anniversary blending. Um, Fuente's been blending for about that. Uh, we rated that cigar of the year. Nine, yes. the you know what yeah. I mean? Like, that's the thing. It's that they've been blending for a real long time. So, the people that have started these companies are slowly going to eventually die off. Like, they're not going to mm. live to be 130 to show you their cigars. Um, but a way to pay homage to them is by keeping their blends to, yeah. and revitalizing their bands to show you, you know, you go from something golden red to golden black to pop that gold out to show you yeah. how significant that cigar is. Um, someone like Fuente, I mm-hmm. actually love. I've been smoking Fuente for nine years, and it's always one of my staples. Yep. It's always one of my go-to cigars, depending on whether it's a good day for me and I just want to enjoy it, or a bad day and I just want something that makes me happy to yeah. smoke. Um, so you sit back and you go... Thank you for blending such a great cigar. Mm. We appreciate it. We love you for it. And I will continue smoking this cigar even after you're gone. Um, it's a great way to show your wow. appreciation to them. And it's a great way to kind of revitalize the brand so mm. new people can enjoy what someone over the years has blended. Right. And their stuff is so consistent throughout the years yeah. that... You really can't go wrong with it. And their price points are actually very reasonable for what you want to smoke. Yeah, I always see Paula smoking La Fuente. If you want a good cigar, great cigar, excellent price point, coffee in the morning. Alto Fluente, Don Carlos, you can't can't go wrong. As far as rapper, in this regard, you have a Cameroon rapper, Dominican Republic binder and filler. It's just... Creamy, uh, definitely, you know, when we were pairing wines in the fall. If you want a creamy, good... Mild, tasty, flavorful cigar. A tough one they Don Carlos. Mm. Yeah. There. Uh, you can even do the Hemingways. Yeah. A little bit lighter on draw. Yep. Excuse me. Um, something in the Hemingway line is going to fall that medium body. Those cedary notes, those light notes. But you o- you always over get that um, light creaminess of that Dominican blend. Mm. Um, you go to Don Carlos, it picks up in body a little bit. It yep. goes to that medium full. Yeah. And, yep. But even at that medium full, there's still that overall creaminess with a little bit of body and spice that brings you back mm-hmm. to one of the first guys you ever smoked, whether mm. it was a Fuente or not. Right. It's that, that first flavor, right. that pop, that spice, that cedar, those notes, that creaminess. That you enjoy. It's very reminiscent. So to pay homage to someone like that who has been doing it for so long, it's it's a nice buy. And Holy very shit. simple in price, too. Right. I gave it, um, because it's readily available pretty much anywhere, uh, I gave it a, a box split. Meaning you yep. always want to have a couple of these yeah. left over. Yeah. It's always a, a, an occasion always comes up. And, uh, what, for the Don know, Carlos? Yeah. I yeah. Chuck, I would fight Chuck Norris for these cigars. Really? Wow. Okay. I've been smoking Fuente four, four for and a lot, a lot of years. And there's a lot of cigars that I would fight Chuck Norris for. Probably get my ass whooped. But, uh, <laughs> I can teach you. I'd pay for that. I would definitely try. Um, <laughs> He's old now, so you got this. Definitely, <laughs> definitely with their blends. Um, what I love with them is with me is consistency is key. And you always get consistency. That's a good point. With Casa de Fuente. Especially, especially in, in when you're rolling cigars, making cigars, and you have the boutiques coming in. Sometimes they cannot be consistent. We've always heard stories of that. Mm. We've tried the first go around and the second go around. It's like, oh, oh boy, it's not it's yeah. terrible. But it's a very good point um, with that. Yeah. With that being said, Brenda, right. thank be- you for joining us. Thank you so oh, much for you don't mind me. me before we punch out. Yeah. Why does it say James on your shirt? Yeah, James, please. Yeah, we want to ask this. This is James' shirt. It's that simple. Who, would, it's, who is James? Paris Tire? Paris Tire. My what? buddy James works at Paris Tire. That's it. Oh, that's, that's it? a promo there's for no, his friend, oh, James. There's, there's Paris, no, tire. Paris there's Tire. No, Paris there's no tire. logical explanation. So next time he comes on a show, it's going to say Brenda Actually, Havana Cigar. Yeah. I did and have one. Like, 
If you look Yo. at the last Stogie Geek section, okay. I had one. I saw it, yeah, last it week. It said John. It said John, too. So Do you know people from Paris Tire? Yes, I, I have different things. No, I know. I have different, no, uh, I have different things. But, uh, <laughs> you know, just so you know, um, okay. today I went to my bank to do some business. Okay, some business. And there was a new teller, and uh, the shirt caused a lot of confusion. Because she was like, your ID says Joe. I'm but like, you sure it says yeah. James. And she goes, why do you have a shirt that says <laughs> James? And I says, oh, boy. Uh-oh. -uh. With that being said, yep. tune in next week to Stogie Geeks. Thank you. Whoop, whoop. <laughs>